Jack, thank you for your time. Pat Simcox has been quoted as saying that you, Dave Richardson, Graham Smith, uh, have made an unwise decision uh, to get involved in the current setup. Does he have a point? I think everybody is in, uh, entitled to the opinion, and um, I think um, judging at the state that cricket South Africa is in currently, um, you might have a point. Um, but I think it wasn't much different to 2011, where there was a lot of comments like that as well. When I joined Cricket South Africa in an interim position, where people also advised me and said, "Look, cricket is in such a state that um, you know we shouldn't join, we shouldn't try, try and improve the situation, because that's actually what we're trying to do." It's not the ideal time to be employed by a national federation if it's been under attack in the media. Um, sponsors as withdrawn, the team on the field hasn't done well. Um, so I agree with Pat on that, and I'm actually a big friend of, of Pat Simcox. Um, the question just remains that, um, so who would come in and, and, and you know, help improve the situation? Um, unfortunately, I've never been able to, to be joining the National Federation when it's been plain sailing. Um, so, yes, I took out the challenge, probably not at, at, at a good time, um, but, you know, we, we have to select the team. We've got to play a test series. Uh, we've got to get structures in place um, for the game to continue. Sure. And I think the cricket operations also got to continue. So, um, and that's the reason I think Dave and myself decided to, um, you know, take up the challenge. Talking about uh, selecting the team, uh, we know England will be here in just under two weeks. Saka yesterday... Uh, released a statement reiterating their call for the board to go. Uh, have you been able to speak to Tony Irish? I'm actually meeting with Saka tomorrow. So we've got a meeting schedule and on Wednesday, so that'll be the first time that we, um, we would have a formal meeting. We've had uh, um, discussions. But for me, the board uh, is elected and dealt with by the members' council, which are the 14 presidents. Um, our, our meeting with Tony will need more about the uh, dispute um, between Saka and Cricket South Africa, the legal dispute. In the same statement, he did, he did say that he is willing to talk to us at least, which is encouraging. You took over a few, week, uh, a few days ago. Uh, what has been the first order of business? I mean, you mentioned the concern with the, with the sponsor, Standard Bank, uh, not renewing next year. I mean, you must be worried about the uh, finances of CSA. Yeah, absolutely. I think sponsors walking away, especially especially such a special um, relationship as um, Standard Bank, the cherries over a long period of time, and um, it's very unfortunate. I, I think our, our first um, point of business, however, would be the appointment of the, um, uh, the director of cricket, so that we can get the cricket appointments, um, um, you know, off the ground. So that that is our first stop, and something that we've been working on. Um, you know, the whole of yesterday, uh, and it'll take up a lot of our focus for the next uh, week. But I think we'll be, uh, be uh, um, engaging with sponsors, potential sponsors, and, and uh, you know, I think that we can explain and retain some of our current sponsors. Jack Fall, interim CEO of Cricket South Africa, speaking to us from Pretoria. Thank you, Jack, for all your time.